Hello everybody, welcome to Bragg Loft. I hope you enjoy the video. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Um, as you can see, we're finally getting some warm temperatures. We actually lost some snow. Woohoo! That's a good thing. And uh, I remember up here, last week I kind of do a little um, video of what the snow looked like last week. Because uh, we had a snow up the wazoo and, you know, we've been finally getting some Warmer temperatures today is 42 degrees, and the rest of the week is supposed to be in the 50s, which is awesome. I can't hardly believe it. <laughs> Spring is right around the corner. Woohoo! But uh, as you can see, I told you before. Well, guys, this video is part of the last week's video. I just wanted to kind of show you how much snow we had on the ground from last week. It's unbelievable how much difference it is. Before, we had to have, you know, get a lot of puddles around here, including the ones over here. I can't even let the young birds out, you know, all these guys in here, I can't even let them out, even my old birds, because you can see all the puddle of water here, and all the poop that's underneath there, you know, and then it gets full of water, and then they drink the poopy water, and then they get sick, we can't have that, so, so I can't even let them out right now, but that's okay, you know, that's why I tried to let them out when it was still cold on the ground yet, but you can only do what you can. But uh, anyways, uh, kind of show you what's going on over here in this loft. As we're over here, I said, I can't hardly believe I can actually see the ground. Woohoo! <laughs> like I said, it's been kind of nice to have this nice warm weather and uh, kind of go from there. So, but uh, in here, we got these guys that finally had a little baby, but unfortunately, it's not an almond. And the reason I know that is um, <clears throat> it's got too much fuzz on it from the last one. But down here they got two youngsters. They just Both of these guys just hatched yesterday. These guys are back on eggs. And then those guys are on eggs. And then I do have, I set an almond in here underneath them. And they, their eggs are both fertile. And then we got this little youngster up here. Unfortunately, it's supposed to be my ember project, but uh, I think it's going to be a kite the way it looks. And we'll pull it out here. You can see all the bronze, the bronze in the wing, kind of like the last one was, but that's okay, I guess. So, you know, we'll still fly them and see how they do. That's all we can do. You know, they make great for color projects and stuff like that, but, uh, you know, and hopefully they fly good too. You never know. But uh, all you can do is try. Drop these up there look nice and healthy though. But uh, you know, we'll go to the next loft and show you what's going on in there. Well guys, I figure I kind of show you what's going on in this loft here. And before I forget, I uh, want to wish everybody a happy Easter. Um, hopefully everybody had a wonderful day and uh, spent time with their family. I know I did and uh, made some good dinner. I do the, all the cooking around here so uh, we had ham, and we had ribs, some taters, and uh, stuffing. What else did we have? Uh, mashed potatoes and gravy, so some buns, but uh, it turned out pretty good. But anyways, hi. Um, as you can see down here, I had a uh, kind of run out of straw bales, so I ended up using hay, because we had a lot of water, before I had a lot of water leaking from the roof, because we had so much snow up there. I ended up shoveling it off finally, but I had probably close to three inches of water sitting down here, and I definitely didn't want them youngsters drinking out of that and getting sick. So I ended up just putting hay down here to soak it up for now, and so far it worked out really well. I finally got it, like I said, the roof all was taken care of, so it doesn't do that anymore for now. But uh, I definitely got to work on something fixing up next year, so, because that stinks. But anyways, uh, wanted to show you this makes really good parents when they do this kind of stuff you know you put all that hay down there and they made one heck of a nest i i'm just shocked and how well they did it so like look at that just unbelievable how much straw they are to say hey they put in there and then you know they put some in there you can see that these guys did the same thing they put a lot of hay in here too because they're both selling a set of eggs again. So, which is a good thing. But I figure I'll kind of show you the youngsters. 
We got a couple silver bars here. And then I got a couple reds down here. Reds are one of my favorites. I'm a sucker for reds. I mean, I do like silvers too, but don't get me wrong there. And then, okay, these two here in box number eight. One of them is going to Adrian P. And I'm pretty sure it's going to be the blue bar. And then that grizzle down there, or let's say the blue check down there. They're both going to Adrian P. to give him to test them out for me. I got a couple reds in here. A couple silvers, I do believe. And then down here we got nothing. I got a pair of grizzle and it looks like a black in here. And up here, I wanted to kind of show you uh, this pair. These are both Sion's, okay? As you can see, she's, she's a Sion, but she's a, a grizzle. Or not regular, red check, sorry. A red check, but she was one of my second best birds as a young bird. And I paired her up with this red Sion, so. And she is three quarter Sion, so. So I figured the two of them together <laughs> makes, you know, seven eighths close enough. But uh, there's a little youngster in here. Looks really good. I uh, can't wait to test it out. It's a little red chick. Also, just like the parents, of course, you know. Which is a good thing. Well, I want to see. See? A little red chick. Kind of curious to see how they do. Looking forward to seeing how they do. Like I said, looking forward to see how that one does. But uh, you can see the droppings in here look pretty good. Off this little youngster, almost all the droppings in here look really, really well. Like I said, I just I just wanted to show you. I've been keeping the nest fronts on because I put a couple new pair in here just so they don't be fighting. But, you know, kind of like that up there. But I took just took them off to clean it. I just wanted to kind of quick show you, so. But uh, a tiger grizzle product is going pretty good. I got a, looks like a pretty good tiger grizzle here growing. Oh yeah, I know you just a feisty little thing, aren't you? I got the nice black tips on there. Should be interesting, you see? Like I said, these guys are back on eggs, and then down there, they're, they're not, nothing there, so. But I did put a pair of stencils in here, just so they can breed. That's the game plan anyways, so. But, uh, figure I'll take you to the next loft and show you what's going on in there. I wanted to kind of show you, you know, showed you that fence before. It was, uh, you know, just the top of that fence, which is a three-foot fence. As you can see, we lost about a foot of snow here yet. But uh, we ain't quite lost everything, but we lost a lot of snow, which is a good thing. But uh, things go, keep going like they are. By uh, We should be able to start racing it by the end of the month. But uh, we'll keep my fingers crossed anyways, you know, that's all we can do. But we still got quite a bit of snow around, you know, the wood edges and stuff like that, especially. So, But uh, anyways, we'll show you what's going on in here. Not a whole lot going on in here. Other than that... Uh, you know, see one of the babies there yet being fed. I got two youngsters, three youngsters left in here. As of right now, we got these two grizzles right here on the floor. And we got that one youngster over there. But otherwise, everything else in here is adults. But uh, as you can see, I still have some white ones in here, which are fine because some of these guys have raced or been flowing around, you know, the place. So I can actually let them out. Um, my prisoners are actually with the young birds at the moment, so anytime I let them out, I have to catch all the white ones and lock them up before I can let out the uh, young birds. But as of right now, I can't let out anything because we have so much water on the ground and I'm afraid somebody's going to get sick and I don't need to be treating the flock if I don't have to. So, but anyways, I very good touch base with you guys. So, But we do have some eggs in here. I got some eggs down here. Eggs there. They laid one set of eggs here. Um, she's about ready to lay eggs. Uh, this couple that's in here are actually right there. Those two there. So it should be kind of an interesting pair there. So those two right there. But uh, we'll see how it goes, I guess. But I know I have uh, one other young person that is interested in some birds. So I figure well, I'll breed some late hatches and uh, give them that to the young lady. So 
least that's the game plan. I'm gonna help keep uh, the sport going, so I'm trying to help out new people. That's the game plan anyway, so anybody that's never raced or had birds before, so I wanna try to give them some good birds, so at least to help them out anyways, at least, you know, at least get them hooked into the pigeons anyways. Not necessarily for racing, but at least get them hooked into the pigeons, so. But overall, things are going pretty good otherwise, so. But uh, just kinda wanted to show you what's going on in here. You know, we got some eggs underneath there. One egg here, like I said, I can't remember if he is on an egg or sitting on an egg. Oh, yep, he's got one egg in there sitting on it, so it must be, I know he's an older bird. He's, he is gorgeous, but uh, I didn't breed out of him this year. And uh, I didn't race him last year either, so. But hopefully he does good. Uh, he's a Ludo that I got from Graham. And uh, kind of go from there, I guess. So hopefully he does good for me this year, so. I plan on racing some old birds, half a season of old birds, half a season of young birds, just because uh, I want to keep it going. But uh, I know if I don't race some uh, birds, they don't kind of know which way to do and how to split. So I'm not going to take it too serious as of, you know, racing everything all at once. But, uh, you know, I think I'll race some old birds season, like I said, and some of the young bird seasons, just to kind of see how things go. So at least that's the game plan for now. But uh, anyways, so I want to touch base with everybody and let everybody know what's going on. So hope you guys enjoyed the video today. So please like, share, and leave a comment below. And thanks again for watching.